Good morning, everyone. How are you? Hi, it's Anna Walker with Anna Walker Designs and StabThingsIntoExistence.com. It's a great morning. Um, I've been busy already, and it's only 10 a.m., um, and it's going to be a full day. My Wednesdays are usually pretty full days, but um, this morning, <clears throat> I started off the day by uh, taking a look at supplies and getting some scarf kits ready to go for the scarf class that's coming up and there are three classes coming up in the next in about two weeks um, on the 14th in the evening um, from 6 to 8 30 central i will be um, presenting a mini masterpiece needle quilting class and in that class you'll get the opportunity to learn some basics about needle quilting and you'll also create a little four by six or six by six um, mini painting um, using needle felting techniques and a base of felted wool and all kinds of wool fibers to create a painting of your choice. You can have as an inspiration maybe a favorite place that you love to visit. Um, maybe it's a kid's drawing that you want to turn into a miniature masterpiece. Maybe it's uh, your interpretation of something like Van Gogh's Starry Night. But the options are up to you. You choose what your inspiration is and I'll help you see it come to being in that two and a half hour class. Now the next day on the 15th, um, I'll be having a create a creature class. This is one of my most popular classes that I teach live and online. Um, and the creature is again, a creature of your choice. You decide, am I gonna make a bird? Am I gonna make a dragon? Am I gonna make a hedgehog? Am I going to make a serpent monster? Am I going to make Medusa's head? Yeah, you decide what you want to create. I'll help you go through the process step by step to figure out the best ways to see your creature come to life. And we'll build it up using um, undyed wool. And then once we've got the body shape pretty much the way we want it, the way you want it, um, then you'll have the opportunity to add color on the top or skin your creature um, at the end. Now, both of these classes are um, the same cost at $17 um, for that two and a half hour class. You can get your own supplies and use them, or you can purchase a kit for $10, and that has your basic needle felting supplies, um, some undyed wool, a couple of chenille stems to use for an armature if you need it, and then your um, dyed wool that you can use to uh, give your creature color. So those two classes are coming up. And then on the 19th in the morning, 9 to noonish central time, I am going to have a wet felting class. And we're going to do a basic scarf. And that's what you see in front of me are the kits that you can purchase additionally um, to the class. The class is $27 and you can purchase the kits for $25, or you can provide your own supplies. Either way works for me. Um, but I wanted to show you the kits because they all have something similar. They all have a, an undyed pre-felt that's a scarf blank. Now this scarf blank is exactly that. It's about um, eight inches wide by about five feet long, somewhere in through there. And it's pre-felt, which means that the wool fibers have been partially felted or pre-felted um, and that makes it possible for us to sort of cut it into yardage we can cut shapes out of it if we want to but for our purposes this will be the base for the for the scarf and then once you've got that base laid out you'll have to um, have your own bubble wrap you'll have to have some plastic sheeting you'll need to have some t-shirt ties and you'll need access to soap and water there are some other things that are um, recommended, but not necessary. And then you need your hands. But in the kits, and I've got seven different colorways available, two of each of those colorways, you have a selection of fibers. And they're all color coordinated. This is the base fiber for this particular one, this beautiful gradient of blue and purple. And then I've got some pale, almost, I mean, it's just a pale purple, and then these beautiful silk hankies that you can pull apart to add some additional 
texture and shine and shimmer to. And that is one of the colorways in the purpley blue. The other one in the purpley blue is this one here. And I'm going to pull out each of these to give you an idea of what they look like. Is this the right one? Yes, this is the right one. So on this one, got that same colorway, only we're going more on the magenta end of things, and then the silk hankies as well. So beautiful color combinations that you can put together with those two variations of that colorway. And then we have the blue and teal coming in. Again, these are using the same base, this teal into a purple, and then this one has a pale blue to add as an accent, and then some more silk hankies. And then the other variation is this one here. And this is going on the teal end of the spectrum. So again, we have this base fiber here. And then we have a little bit more teal in a slightly different color. And then we've got these gorgeous teal and purpley silk hankies to give you some texture and dimension. So that's two, two variations. This is the natural colorway, and I only have two of these. And in this one, we've got this beautiful um, variegated brown and undyed wool. Um, and then I've got this lovely little bit of browns into a coppery color and then some copper to add some color and texture and look at these silk hankies. I mean, talk about adding a bit of pop to this natural colorway. I think whoever gets these are going to create some beautiful scarves. And then we have this. now. These are from the same base fiber, and I want to show you that base fiber of both of these together because it's just how you mix the fibers together that gives you that beautiful difference in the colorway because both of these start with the same variegated roving. I mean, but this one, I pulled in more of the reds to go along with it, and on this one, I pulled in the greens. But totally different um, combinations of colors that you're going to get with this versus the combinations that you're going to get with this. I mean, so fabulous that they're going to look wonderful. Now, there are two of each of these colorway kits. There are only 10 spots in the class. I keep the um, numbers down to 10 per class. And that goes for the mini masterpiece and the create a creature class as well. I keep it to 10 for a very specific reason. Um, when I'm teaching an in-person class, I've got no problem being able to walk around the, the room and give individualized attention. Um, it's very, you know, easy to do. Of course, I'm, I'm, you know, constantly moving just to make sure that everyone's on the right track and they're, you know, being able to progress with their project without any trouble. But when we're not in person because of COVID, there's only so much that I can do via a screen. And I want to make sure that I still give you that same individualized attention in a class. So I keep the class numbers to 10. So what you'll want to do this afternoon, um, my assistant Bree is going to get the classes live. And as soon as they go live this afternoon, you're going to want to get your spots um, paid for and you're going to want to sign up for those classes because those 10 spots are likely to go pretty quickly. Um, again, the classes for uh, the Create a Creature and for the Mini Masterpiece are $17. If you provide your own materials, that's the cost. If you need to have a kit, that's an extra 10, so 27 total. If you're going to sign up for the wet felted scarf class, um, the class itself is 27. Again, you can supply your own materials and I'll send you a list of what you're going to need. And that would be your total cost for that class. If you need the materials, that's a $25 kit. So it'd be 52 
for a total. And that's, it seems like a lot, but it's not for a scarf class. That's pretty average out there. And I know that you're going to have a beautifully um, designed by you and completed with the two of us together, working together um, to get your scarf looking exactly the way you want it to look. So I hope that you'll take a look and join me for those classes this month. Next month, oh my gosh, next month I'm bringing three new classes and those classes are all gift related ideas um, because we are getting close to the end of the year and I know that there are many of you out there that like to give a bit of love in your gifts when you um, send gifts to give gifts to friends and family and these are three classes that I think you'll really enjoy that will make it possible for you to create some wonderful little gifts um, one of them is going to be an earring class you can learn how to make the earrings that I forgot to put on this morning um, but I've got earrings right back here so for the earring class you'll get everything you need to create a pair of earrings. You'll get the earring wires, you'll get the frames that you're going to needle felt the fibers over, and you'll get your basic needle felting kit. Um, then the next class that I'm going to do is a dryer balls class. And for the dryer balls class, we are going to um, have the opportunity, and I, I'm calling it dryer balls because that's the basis of it. Um, those of you that don't know what dryer balls are, they are um, felted wool balls that you can put into your clothes dryer and they help um, soften your clothes, reduce static, and absorb excess moisture so that it helps the drying process for your clothing and it can take the place of any fabric softeners that you have to add to your um, washing, washing machine or into your dryer to get your clothes soft and static free and what happens is the the dryer balls just bounce around inside the dryer as it's working and that bouncing around um, dissipates the static cling it helps to naturally soften your clothes by that little bit of agitation and the wool is very absorbent so if you've got a really heavy wet load um, it will absorb some of that excess moisture and cut down your drying time so dryer balls are a favorite gift um, my mom ordered some from me a couple of years ago so that she could give a set to each of her sisters she's one of five sisters and um, all of my aunties um, love their dryer balls in fact uh, one auntie um, lost hers um, when my cousin uh, did laundry and we don't know what happened to the dryer balls so I got her some extra ones um, but the dryer balls are a nice base to create dryer balls or you can turn that into a custom juggling set um, you know you'll get the supplies that you need to make three dryer balls which is I think pretty much the basics um, for what I would put in a dryer to help the clothes dry and to help reduce that static cling but with three you can juggle so you could take those dryer balls and you can embellish them with the colored fibers that are in your the kit that you would purchase um, and you can create a custom juggling set or you can turn each of those dryer balls into an individualized special ornament that you can give to your favorite person so there are a number of different ways you can go with that um, and there's a third class that I'll talk about a little later um, but hopefully the October classes will be listed as of the end of this week and you'll be able to go online and as, as always you know you can pay for the class alone or you can add the additional kit that'll um, be available for a slightly more for an additional cost um, so the class itself has one fee and the kit is extra but I hope that you'll um, consider taking a look and joining me um, with one of my classes in the next couple of months and I'm gonna bring still don't know how we're working on it but I'm going to bring gift certificates um, to the website that will be up toward the end of October I think um, and there'll be gift certificates that can be used for classes so it'll be a, a base class price that can be used for any class after the first of the year um, they'll have a, a use by date that'll 
probably be no less than six months. It might be a year, but again, I'm working out all the details with my assistant, and we'll figure that out as we go along. Um, of course, the Felted Experience is going to be opening in just a, a few short weeks. Uh, it'll be October before we know it. And um, mid-October is when the Felted Experience opens for new members. And with that membership, remember, you get a monthly video tutorial. You get access to me on a private Facebook page. Plus, we have a weekly phone call, where a weekly Zoom call, where we get together and we show and tell and we encourage one another. And I offer tips and suggestions for going to the next level with whatever projects you're working on. And I hope you'll consider joining me for the Felted Experience. This is the last year it's going to be at the introductory price. Um, and that's $197 for a year or $22 a month if you want to go on a month-to-month -month basis. I am also going to have, before we go live with that, I'm going to have a way for you to purchase a membership as a gift for someone. And then it can start as of the first of the year. Um, so that'll be an option that'll be available as well. And what better way to um, give a gift than to give the gift of experience and give someone an opportunity to learn something new, to increase their knowledge, to help them, you know, on their felting journey um, and give them the gift of an experience. Um, and the felted experience is a good experience to give. So that is our update for today. I'll come back again tomorrow. Um, take a look at the website, stabthingsintoexistence.com this afternoon, and you will see both uh, the classes and the um, kits available, and we will uh, talk to you tomorrow. See you later. Bye-bye.